Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty D Gaming, I'm Scotty D and today I'm going to be playing The Medium. Now this looks like a Resident Evil-esque psychological horror, or maybe it's just a full on horror. It's got oh, supernatural vibes, which in my opinion is the scariest type of horror. Let's do it baby. Yeah I am, um, other than the teaser trailer I saw months ago, I know nothing about the game. One of my mates text me, oh this game looks good, I'd never heard of it. Sent me the link to the teaser trailer and I thought yeah, this is right up my alley. Now I don't normally play horror games because I think I love horror movies. But horror games are just on that next level because you're playing them. It's so much more immersive and terrifying. But every now and again a horror game catches my eye and this one did. So let's hope it's good and terrifying at the same time. Let's hope I shit my pants. <laughs> It all starts with a dead girl. Oh, off to a good start then. Ooh, brutal start. Then again, the girl did look kind of creepy, so I can kind of understand the other guy's point of view. <laughs> Listen, if you're a creepy child and you're about to get shot, Ever since I was little, I've I'm not helping. Dream. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This Part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. I think. If they only knew. Maybe they think you're strange because you've never had a shower in like three months. Why is she so dirty? When the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father, to dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. No, she kind of ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. A special tie clip. You no, know she reminds me of. I'm actually getting heavy rain vibes. She kind of reminds me of Madison from Heavy Rain. And also from that cutscene, where only when she's head on, kind of looks like a bit like Ellen Page from Beyond Two Souls, but only from the front because the side profile doesn't match. Right, what do we have here? 
na ina inain. October, Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels, funeral at 10, ultrasound, Our Lady of the Rosary, biopsy, then Pakish to Marianne, neurologist visit, ultrasound, funeral again, pick up Marianne from the train station, surgery, hmm, right, an ultrasound, is that not what you have when you're pregnant? Ah, oh, don't say I'm pregnant. Right, can we... I don't know how to run yet. Nothing else does anything. Ah, oh, you little bitch. Yeah. This... Nice to see you too. Nah, I'm definitely more of a dog person than a cat person. Cats are not to be trusted. Uh, right. The tie clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. Oh, so I'm Marianne. Okay. Okay, now we know the character's name, so we're, we're Marianne and we're here. But I imagine our father. Our father's dead, isn't he? Krakow. Wait there, so Krakow, that's it. Kra Krakow's Pol Poland, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But then again, Krakow's not spelled like that. Hmm, okay. I wonder if this is, this, is, this is Poland that we're in. 1999. So we are in 1999, 22 years ago. Right, so what happened? Miners from the Sears of Mine came to work a day as usual, but instead of flashlights and pickaxes, they carried a black casket adorned with lit candles, a symbol of their company's demise. This is not the death of our mine, say members of the Sears of Mine Rescue Committee. We will not let our jobs be buried. The casket is meant to be... is meant for the Vistula Coal Company, they add. NATO's new mission, projecting stability in a post-Cold War world, U.S. President Bill Clinton saw it during the Bill Clinton administration. Del delivered a major foreign policy address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall. Huh. Okay. Okay, so we know what time we're in. Looks nourishing. What is it? Cat food. Cosi la cosi. Cosi la cosi. Oh, well, I suppose we should feed the cat. Although I don't trust it. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. Oh, good. Okay. My respect for her has gotten a lot better because it's not actually her cat. Okay. <laughs> this, this must be her, her dad's cat. Fair enough. Enjoy your food. Oh, I know what this is. I'm already getting the shivers. This is a... Um, can't believe it's photo develop. Oh, Jack. Jack. Yeah, it's a photo development room. I forgot the proper term, but if anything hideous is going to happen, it's going to happen in one of these rooms. I've seen enough horrors to know this. How to develop photos. Illuminate, photo for five seconds. Dip in multigrade for three. In stop for three. In fix at four, three. Uh, what's what? Oh, so that's illuminate. Illuminate for five. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Wh whoever set this up is the most backwards person I've ever seen. Who sets things up? Because I would have went... Multigrade for three, three, three. So, one, two, three. They haven't got it set up like that. They've got it going from right to left instead of left to right. That is that is creepy in itself. That does not sit right with me. Hmm. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. 
So this is a photo. Okay. Right, how do we do this? I might I still might be wrong, but I think we go illuminate for five, bang, 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 finish, even though this whole process should be going from left to right. Right, five seconds, right? One, two, three, four, five. I just noticed as well, the light actually flashes every second. So if you hadn't been counting, you could just count the flashes. Uh, that did nothing. <laughs> it did nothing. Are we even doing this right? Three seconds. One, two, three. Oh, there we go, baby. One. Two, three. Oh, that looks hideous. This, this, you're not going to get it too much these days. But back in the day when you had to use proper development, proper film reels in cameras, they they always gave room for some hideous artifacts to happen. But you don't get that in the digital age. And some photos could turn out really, really creepy. And that's where most of your ghost photos, like, like you say on the internet from back in the day, come from. It's like really dodgily exposed photographs. Right, wait there. One, two, three. This is the last photo I took of you, Jack. Shit. Here then, Big Jack. Right, I'm actually scared to leave here because I'm, I'm, I'm just sensing a jump scare. That would have been the prime position to have something standing behind me. Okay, they're going to break you in easy, are they? What is this again? Jack's tie clip. Oh, I need to find the tie clip. Find it. Nineteen eighty four. I've heard about you know what it is, I've heard about the book nineteen eighty four. I've got no idea what it actually is. It's referenced in a lot of, of media. It's like a a massively relevant pop culture icon. I don't know I don't know what it is, son. I should probably look it up. Oh, can we look in the mirror? Oh don't do it. We can't. Good. I'm happy about that. Yeah, there's there's just something about mirrors that are, are so hideous because when you look in a mirror, like, just imagine if either the person, what, when you look in the mirror, it's not you looking back. Imagine how hideous that would be. Or if there was something over your shoulder, because it puts you in such a vulnerable position, is that you can see what's coming without being able to act on it because it's already behind you. Oh my, that is just brutal. Now wait there, what's this? to be back in my old room so many memories I can't get access to this oh it's a mirror I used to get a lot of these to me they were like trophies badges of honor for doing the right thing Jack wasn't too amused but he did his best to cover for me I kind of feel uh. bad for making him go through all that what is it? We must request you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. Oh, so she's been able to do this from a, from a small child. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student, but we're sure you realise that this behaviour is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is not the first behavioural behavioural problem we've informed you about. We believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Yeah, I can't imagine people would put <laughs> would like that too much. Why do we not have a reflection? My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Wait there, when she was three, 
who was in ICU, second degree thermal burns covering 35% of total body surface area, trunk and upper limbs area suspected inhalation in an injury, care management, early wound coverage, respiratory support, Jesus, high flow oxygen until carbon monoxide, so she was in a house fire I imagine. You know what it is? That's probably what triggered her her supernatural Is it called supernatural? Paranormal? I don't know. That probably triggered her powers. Cause she was so close to death, she became death. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. That's nice of her. So she was an orphan. Yeah. I used to have a thing for him. Don't know why, really. I guess oh. that just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Yeah, I noticed that on the on the loading screen there was a I, I initially thought it was a moth, but it might be a butterfly. Oh shit like that is always like creepy. There is, do you know what it is? I don't really believe in, in ghosts or anything. But ah, uh, saying that, I I don't. Right, okay. Jackson. So let's let's. It's like he never. Damn it. Oh look, there's the cat. Right, what I was saying is, I I don't believe in ghosts or anything like that. Right, but it's not to say that they don't exist. It's just I I haven't had proof of them. But then again, saying that there's some freaky Jack shit that has happened to me when I was younger. Religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Yeah, some freaky shit has happened to me when I was younger, but I kind of I, I think I've ruled it out as just like coincidences or things, or even though they're really really strange coincidences. I'll talk about them. I'll, I'll tell you. I think every time I've played a horror game, I've talked about them. But we'll talk about it again after I look at I it. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Okay, so one of the times was it was with my dad's my dad dad's ex girlfriend was like Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Yeah, what's your problem man hissing at me? I'm I'm I've just fed I've just fed you! I've just fed you. See this is what cats just don't respect anything. Right, yeah, wait there. Sorry, it's, it's hard to tell a story and play the game because I'm, I'm actually was interested. part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Hmm. Oh, this must be the clip. Come or on, it, it's not. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Left bumper to activate insight. Oh, there we go. Got it, baby. Nice. Right, so that means we should be able to get in the other door. I don't know why we'd, we'd need a clip to go through the door. Oh, no. I was thinking we need this clip to lockpick the door. But it's not we need the clip because that's like what we're actually doing. We're going to the funeral, aren't we? But yeah, as I was saying... As I was saying, downstairs. my dad's ex-girlfriend was like a, um, she was really into the paranormal and spirits and stuff. She, she, she often when she went to bed said that like, she'd always have, because it was, it was in her house, she'd always have something sitting on her chest at night, right? It was so fucking weird, right? But anyway, I never experienced any of that, but one of the times we were... She was having a clear out of things in the loft or the attic. And she went, oh, well, I was like, oh, I can help you out if you want. And she was like, oh, just be careful. She went like, just, just, everything's going to be all right. Which, imagine like opening up like a sentence like this. How old was I? I was probably uh, 13, 14 years old, maybe. Um, oh, just, just because there's, there's something in the loft, but it's, it's not harmful. Um, and I, I'll just, I was, I, I'm, 
I was a, I was a little kid. I didn't give a fuck about none of that. I was like, here, man, I'll, I'll, help, I'll help you clear the loft out. You just stay down here. I'll go up in the loft. So I cleared stuff out the loft. I had no problem. Nothing weird happened or anything. But when I was walking down the stairs with the boxes after clearing the loft out, um, she had a fire alarm on the at the bottom of the stairs on the wall to the right. As soon as I walked past this fire alarm, we lived the... upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, oh, that... if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Now, living above a funeral home is definitely weird. Not my idea of a good time. Right, so yeah, as I said, I walked past this fire alarm and it went off in my ear for no reason. So I, I obviously I just put the box down, reset the fire alarm, and then we started laughing about it because she was like, oh yeah, that's that's like the ghost in the loft. I was like, oh, I know, what a, what a load of shit, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's funny things like that. Um, But then when I went home on the same night, when my dad took me home to my dad's house because like my dad and his girlfriend like had separate houses, I was the first one through the front door. I walked through my front door. Now wait there before I say that. I know how fire alarms work and it's they go off when dust or soot or smoke comes into contact between the, the bits of radiation and that's what causes the fire alarm to go off. So I thought, oh, because I've been in the loft and I'm dusty, when I've walked past the fire alarm, the dust has triggered the fire alarm to go off. Well, that's it. That's that explained. But when I stepped foot into my dad's house, his fire alarm went off immediately and the fire alarm was at the top of the stairs and we've got a porch. So it's not as if like, like there's a door, front door, step into the porch and then go through another door into the house. How could our fire alarm have went off when I wasn't even anywhere like that? Poor, oh, I'm getting fucking ship shit. I'm actually, do you know when you get, you get like, you, your hair's on your back, your neck stand up and I've just had to look over my shoulder. I don't even fucking like it. It's, it yeah, so that was, that was some freaky ass shit, right? And then... From that point forward, like I always used to um, have my have weekends at my dad's house, and I always used to stay up late because like you get away with murder with your dad. Like you'd, my dad would like get, you would have a few bevies, um, would would normally watch a film together, play on the computer together. You now it is it was really good times, but then he'd like go to bed and I'd just stay downstairs watching MTV or or playing computer games. But because I had the sitting room all to myself. Taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Yeah, but because I had the, the, the sitting room all to myself, like our sitting room was open plan, so you've got the sitting room and the TV is next to the front window, so if you're looking at the front of the house, the TV's, we can see the TV and see it of our front window, and then behind us towards the back of the house is a dining room but it's all open plan so if you're in the dining room you can see the sitting room if you're in the sitting room you can see the dining room but i used to sit in the chair with my back face to the dining room so i could see the tv and ever since that fire alarm incident i always like felt uneasy in my dad's house it didn't bother us like not nothing like weird well it did i'm about to get into that so yeah, so it was probably, it was within the same year of the fire alarm going off. So what 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 my dad's ex girlfriend said is that the, the ghost, left attached itself to me. This so imagine telling the kid this. Oh, the ghost attached itself to you and it's moved to your dad's house, right? It's fucked up to begin with, right? <laughs> wait, how do we get in here? Funeral home key. Yeah, we do. Now wait there before we go there. Let's just have a look up here where I tell the story. Um. Yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah, so that was fucked up anyway, but late at night, obviously anybody late at night when they're by themselves, sometimes you're going to get it, not freaked out, but you get like that uneasy feeling. Well, I remember I was watching TV late at night and I could, I could have swore, like when I looked over my right shoulder, which means the dining room would have been behind me over my right shoulder, could have swore like I could feel somebody watching me. So strange, but, but nothing happened. I just decided like to continue watching MTV then go to bed because I think really late at night I used to like watching Beavis and Butthead that used to be on MTV late at night this shows how long ago this was Jack's in the prep room Oh Jack's in the prep room Eh uh, yeah 
But then there was another time. What was it was so fucking freaky. Uh again, it was one night and I felt like something was watching me. Wait there, what's this? And I just ignored it. But then in the in the dining room over my right shoulder, my dad's got a bookshelf and he's got a load of books, a load of Stephen King books. He likes Stephen King. Fucking Stephen King book only went and fell off the shelf by itself. I fucking shit me pants, right? Um I wasn't even fucking about with any ghost at that time. I ran straight upstairs, walked me dad and went, yeah, dad, no fucking kidding you. Books just fell off the shelf. He was laughing, he just went, yeah, man, he just... <laughs> me, dad, me dad is pretty funny, to be honest. I don't remember locking it. Oh, the door's locked. The key should be in the office. Come on, then. Yeah, so me dad just went, <laughs> stop me dad went, stop being a fairy and go and put the book back on the shelf, so I did. I went downstairs, but I, I remember looking at the book. I always put all the lights on. I remember looking at the book. And just thinking, oh man, if anything fucking kicks off here, yeah, I'm gone, mate. I'm, I'm, I'll be, you won't see me for dust. But I didn't, I put the book back on the shelf. Happy days. Nothing else, nothing else happened that night. I went to bed. And I don't know how, how long after that incident happened. But again, it was a weekend, watching the TV, late at night. My dad's already in bed, in the dining room, along with my dad's bookshelf. He had like a, a stereo system. Because my dad likes music, he likes say, um, rock music, heavy metal music, stuff like that. The fucking, this, this radio, this, this, edit, hi-fi, hi-fi, I think that's what you call them. It had a different racks, CD rack, <laughs> record rack, because my dad had loads of vinyls, stuff like that. It turned itself on at like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Full blast. I'm not fucking kidding you. I didn't know where I was. Like, how can a radio hi-fi system turn itself on at full blast playing Iron Maiden? Because that was the last CD that my dad had in was Iron Maiden. Jesus. Funny thing was, I ran, I, I, I fucking ran to turn the music off. And then I ran upstairs. It didn't even wake my dad up. That was probably the strangest thing. Like, you would think a stereo system turn itself on, on blast would wake somebody up. Well, it didn't. Like, that, what? So strange. I've got more stories to tell, but sorry, I'm getting aside of track. Let's let's concentrate on the game for a bit, and I've got more, like, fucked up stories. Right, anyways. But yeah, I don't believe in ghosts. I just think fucked up shit happens. Oh, but then again, there's, there's, there's compelling evidence against that. Right. Record of funeral. Name deceased Adam Nowak. He's a male. 1976, he was born in Krakow. Date of death, 1999, so this year. Embalming, dress and body, flowers. Miss Nowak brought funeral payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral, Marianne. So I received the payment. Yeah, this guy seems like a, a good man. Here it is. That's it, baby. Right, Jack. Go and sort Jack out. Although I'm not, I'm a bit apprehensive. <laughs> Where's the cabinet? Can we take this money? Yeah, but like that, I think all the freaky shit that happened to me was was in my teens. I don't really remember having anything happen to us when I was younger. Although I do, oh my god, I've got some stories. I'll save them. I'll tell you what, I'll do a story. I haven't got many stories, but I do have a few. I'll do a story in episode. That'll be fun. A right, prep room key. Oh. I do like it. <sighs> Not sure if I'm ready for this. Yeah, me neither, girlfriend. This reminds me of the th oh, there's a movie. It's entirely set in an area like this, like a, a a preparations for dead people area. What's it called? 
prep room, a, a morgue. It's it's entirely set in this. The, the full, full film's filmed in a, in a room like this. I know what it's called. It's called Jane Doe. Lads, you have to watch it. It's absolutely terrifying. Jane Doe. Watch that movie. Oh, there he is. All right, Jack, mate. Why can I not put this on? Oh, I haven't got a tie. I got your special clip. No. Tie. Oh, there it is. Combine the clip with the tie. Okay, so this is kind of the tutorial. It's showing you what what things you can and can't do. Okay, so combine. Boom. Jack and Ori. Jack and Akinori. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. That is creepy. Yeah, I think you have to be a special kind of person to work in a morgue. Like, being around death all day, who would want that? Like, it's so strange. Oh, can't you people read? The signs that's closed. <laughs> No, nah, mate, that's not someone knocking at your door. Shit. Oh, no, nah, I'm not feeling the love. I'm really not. Ah, I don't like that camera angle. Oh my god, look at that. There's something on top of the fucking stairs. What the fuck is that, mate? I don't, I don't, don't want, do not want. See, this is, the, I was saying about horror movies, I love horror movies. Slasher films, everything under the horror genre, I love, right? But there's something about supernatural horror that is, I think it's genuinely terrifying because you can't see it. It's not tangible. You know what I mean? That's that's what's truly terrifying about it. That's why I love movies like The Conjuring. Oh. <laughs> I love movies like The Conjuring. Conjuring 2 was especially good. I think that's possibly one of the, the best horror movies to ever have been made in the last 10 years. All right, let's do it, come on. What the hell? Oh, nah. Look, I was, I was just about to say, I can't move in that corner, there's something stopping us, but yeah, there's a cabinet next to my feet. <laughs> I thought it was the ghost. She's, it's funny how she's not even scared. It's fine. 
Jack. Yeah. Now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Ah, uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully, eh? Where is that? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I, I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, I Jack. I I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... You are crying. Pretty sad, really. I think that makes sense okay so the, what I think is is if you noticed the our world and the spirit world were exactly the same but they look different Most but they had to give anything to have that opportunity but they had the same layout to say all the things that were left unsaid but it didn't make things any easier I could help a thousand souls cross over but when it came to Jack it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. <laughs> I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. No, I was the only one. Oh. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. At... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne, but I know you. Look. If this is a joke, uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh... there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. Oh. What did you say? How would he know that? Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? This guy's dead, isn't he? Shit. The light's almost gone. This guy's not human. He's reaching out from across the other side. Okay, so my take on it is that our world and the spirit world are joined joined very closely that's why 
Okay, that that and oh, I'm just about to say this word right, but I think this this word holds so many creepy things. Entity. What a horrible word, entity. Yeah, that entity we saw when we went up the stairs, the the shadow on the wall. That was actually our our stepfather. Because he's just wandering about this the the spirit world trapped. And when we went to the other side there, we helped free him from what I imagine is purgatory being trapped in the spirit world tied to our, our world but we helped him go escape we helped set him free there that's what she can do so that's how it's tied to our world so any shadows we see although they may look terrifying and intimidating it's probably just a trapped soul that needs to be freed okay I like it already yeah and look by the people who made this game. It's funny how they've got the credits at the start. Unless we finish the game, that was a very short game. Yeah, um, it's definitely Polish. Polish developers. And that's what I was about to say. There's something about like old photography. Like, have you noticed how like jumpy it is and how it sometimes freezes? It's it's terrifying. The medium, I think this is going to be a good game. I like it already. Yeah, it's awesome already. And off I went, on nothing but a hunch, a call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Okay then. Let's have a look. I can't use my spirit senses yet. I can't read anyways. I can't read anything that's being said here. Front gate was locked up tight. I need to let's find another way in. Yeah, let's find a key. I doubt it's just a key sitting. Home? I guess not. Lying around in an office. Niwa. Niwa says hello. You'd love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for the kids and free art lessons. Lots of families and the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you, F. What the? Hello? Oh, no. Nah. Thomas? That ain't Thomas, son. It's a fucking zombie, mate. Oh, what is going on here? That is hideous. Just go home. Honestly, honestly, pet. Just go home and eat some ice cream. Don't do this to yourself. 
She's got bigger balls than anyone I know. Oh, we're going on top of it. You know what is that? Didn't even, didn't even cross my mind that we could climb on it there. I was like thinking, oh, what are we going to find in this bin? <laughs> are you going to find the key in this bin? We're going to have to do better than that. All right, let's go and find this zombie. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Nice, we can now run. One day it just stopped, and so an urban legend was born: the Neva massacre. The details were always fuzzy, crazed workers, ancient curses, you know, the usual. The Neva massacre. Let's see how true that is. I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs> left or right? We'll try left first because that looks foggy down there. That's got, probably got to be the way we, we're going. Do you know, I'm also getting vibes of this game, even though it's it's not similar, other than it's a computer game, is the longest journey. You play a character very similar to this girl, but it's like it's more like a point and click adventure game. But my god, it's such a good game. It's very very old now, but I've I've got it installed on my computer as we speak because I do plan on playing it again. The longest journey. I'd highly recommend it to anyone. It's not a horror game by any sort. It's just an adventure, but it's phenomenal. Such bastards sometimes. No wonder history keeps biting us in the ass. In memory of the victims of World War II, 1939 to 1945, for the daughters and sons of the land, hear the arrest, buried as they fell, to remind us the whole earth is their grave. I'm just looking for something hideous on the horizon. I can't see anything. Dead end. Oh wait there. Oh look this entrance is blocked off. Okay, it's a good job we came here. <laughs> no. North no thanks. Oh, it wasn't even there. The ball wasn't even really there. Huh. Hello. Yeah. Children's footprints. Nah. I'm, I'm just not about that life. <laughs> Creepy kids, nah. Mate, I don't even like kids that are like human. Just like creepy kids, nah. That's a that's a big no no. Don't know what is it. T and K. Nineteen eighty-eight or nineteen sixty-eight. It's a shame you can't zoom in. T and K. T's Thomas. K was on the bloody the postcard we've just looked at. The pro the, yeah, these guys are definitely dead. They died in this massacre. But why does Thomas want our help? Probably to free them of this land, yeah, that's why. What is this?
Can't do anything with that. Oh, I've just I've just figured out what it is. The handprints. Oh nah. The things on the trees that we can't interact with are handprints. Warning, due to the recently unearthed remains. Ah, oh, unearthed remains. Renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. <sighs> okay, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Looks like it collapsed. The split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well... Hmm. I guess I was there to listen. The split. Seesaw's right, like, the spirit world and this world has joined and they look very... S I just heard something... Oh, it's like birds. This is so cool. So if you look right, um, although I am controlling both screens, I'm actually only controlling the right hand screen. It's got a little bit more screen space and we've got the cursor on. Oh wait there. Oh, you can switch. Like everything else in this place. Hmm. So you can change, focus on the spirit world, focus on the material world. Ah, oh, that's nice. When you exist in two realities, you're affected by either. I'd learned that the hard way. The place felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely, fragile, waiting for someone to embrace it. As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world? I was just about to say that I don't understand what this is doing, but look. My arm's glowing on the right hand side. Okay, so I think this might be like a one time use thing. Looks like we're going to have puzzles. That's quite nifty actually, I like that. I like how it shows you both worlds while you're navigating them, it's like really interesting. And the spirit world looks amazing by the way, look at it. Looks like Doom. In any case, I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Press and hold right trigger to charge a spirit blast. Let go to unleash. Whoa. So that worked. 
Oh, we've harnessed the... We've harnessed the power of electricity. As much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. So that is awesome. Existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. I think that's more of a her problem than anybody else's problem. She needs to make a life of her own. Fire hazard. Oh look, it's dead. Oh. What happened to you? It doesn't that that does not look like a gunshot though. Hmm. When animals start getting killed by the dead, that's that's scary. Well, I don't know if that happened, but I'm just saying nah. He's not good. What is it? A, mem a big memorial. Can't do anything with it. Hmm. I guess we're coming back here later. That is quite a disturbing camera angle. It's almost as if something's following us. Oh, that's amazing. What the hell are you, Neva? The aura in that place. I've seen others like it, but never this intense. Yeah, this is a landfill of memories, emotions, and none of them good. Yeah, it's funny how she used the word landfill, because this is a landfill of death. Oh, right, okay, lads. I've just seen it all save there, right? So what I think we'll do is we'll call... This is a perfect place to call it an episode. Um, I like the game so far. It's awesome. I, I can see there being some really good elements to this, and I hope the story lives up to it. But it's creeped us out in the first episode, so I imagine in the episodes going forward, it's going to get even better. Also, next episode, I'll also have a, a little... Another supernatural story that's happened to me, or people in my life. And we'll, we'll, we'll try and keep it nice and spicy each episode, but it'll be interesting. Okay, lads, I shall see you in the next one. Hope you've enjoyed it.